Hello everyone, welcome to Maths with Martin. In this video, we are solving the questions from NBHM PhD 2021. Question number 10 is from real analysis. Question number 17 from linear transformation that is from linear algebra. And question number 23 is from linear, it is from basis and dimension. Basis and dimension. So let's start the video and before starting the solution, I am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel, please like the video, comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe the channel. So question number 10 is from real analysis. The question says that find the largest positive real number delta such that for all real numbers x and y, we have mod of cos x minus cos y is less than root 2 whenever mod of x, so x minus y is less than delta. So we have to find the largest value of this delta where delta is greater than 0 is a real number. We start with the inequality cos x minus cos y this is equal to this is less equal to or less than you can write mod of cos x plus mod of cos y. Now if we take this inequality strictly like the strictly less than or this inequality then we can write if we calculate this equate to root 2 no, no. So then the value of mod of cos x and mod of cos y if we take to equate with this root 2 if we choose x equal to pi by 4 and y equal to pi by 4 in this equation then we get mod of cos x cos pi by 4 plus mod of cos pi by 4 this is equal to 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 this is equal to 2 by root 2 which is equal to 2. So we can choose x equal to pi by 4 and y equal to pi by 4 since for this uh, choice of x and y this inequality holds. So now we have to find the value of delta so that mod of x minus y is less than delta for all real numbers x and y. So now if we write mod of x minus y um, is less than delta so mod of x minus y is equal to if we can write if we put the value of x and y uh, for the above choice so pi by 4 minus pi by 4 so this is equal to 0 so but this is 0 value so we now try to find the value of delta which is greater than 0 since we have to find the largest value of delta so now we can write mod of x minus y is less than we can write mod x plus mod y this is simple inequality now if we equate this mod x and mod y value this is equal to if we take delta then delta equal to mod x means pi by 4 since the above choice of x and y plus mod y means pi by 4 since pi by 4 is a positive value so we can write this is equal to pi by 2 so pi by 2 is a maximum value of delta for which this all inequality are holds properly so the answer is delta equal to pi by 2 Two, you can choose for which these inequalities are holds properly. So this is the answer pi by 2. Now if we uh, go to question number 17, the question number 17 says that let n be a positive integer and p be the real vector space of all polynomial with real coefficients and degrees at most n, they let t be a linear operator on p defined by fx equal to x f dash x plus um, f of x minus 1 this one where f dash x is the derivative of fx then what is the trace of t this is a very uh, nice question uh, in from uh, basis and sorry basis and dimensionally uh, and linear transformation so this is from linear transformation lt now if we choose the polynomials suppose one x x square x cube x to the power 4 this type of problems then we can choose this type of polynomials this is the 0 degree polynomial this is the first degree this is the second 2 degree polynomial this is the 3 degree polynomial and this is the fourth degree polynomial now we calculate uh, the matrix t for first for this fourth choice of the polynomial fx so for fx equal to 1 if we choose the polynomial then from this equation we can write fx equal to x f dash x x into f dash x means 0 plus f of x minus 1 means here equal to 1 so this gives simple value 1 sorry i think this should be minus there is a mistake this should be minus so this is equal to 
minus of 1 if we choose minus 1 so this is equal to minus 1 now for f x equal to a x for choice if we take this is equal to x then f x equal to x f dash x that means x into f dash x means here uh, 1 for f x equal to x x f dash x minus f of x minus 1 means x minus 1 so this is equal to x minus x plus 1 which is equal to again 1 now for f x equal to x square if we choose then this gives f x equal to x f dash x f dash x means 2x minus x in x minus f of x minus 1 means x minus 1 whole square so this is equal to 2x square minus x square minus 2x plus 1 this is equal to x square plus 2x minus 1 this now for uh, if we choose t of fx so this is sorry this should be t t of fx this should be t of fx so this one is t of 1 t t t t sorry 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 t of 1 this is equal to t of x equal to t of x square equal to this now for f x equal to x cube t of x cube is equal to x f dash x f dash x means 3 x square here minus x minus 1 whole cube this is equal to 3 x cube minus x cube minus 3 x square plus 3 x plus 1 this is equal to simply 2x cube plus 3x square minus 3x minus plus 1 this should be minus 1 so this is equal to plus 1 now for fx this is equal to x to the power 4 first we take uh, fourth degree polynomial up to fourth degree polynomial this is equal to we get t of x to the power 4 this is equal to um, x fx x into f f dash x means 4 x cube minus f of x minus 1 means x minus 1 whole power 4 this gives 4 x to the power 4 minus x to the power 4 uh, minus 4 x cube plus 6 x square minus 4 x plus 1 this is equal to 3 x to the power 4 plus 4 x cube minus 6 x square plus 4 x minus 1 this one now if we write the matrix t then this is equal to this will be a matrix like this so x x 1 x x square x cube x to the power 4 you can write and the column should be t of 1 images t of x t of x square t of x cube and t of x power 4 we all know that this is the matrix form of a linear transformation so first is t of 1 equal to minus 1 so the coefficient of 1 is 1 so this is minus 1 and all other elements are 0 but then t of x this is equal to t of x this is t of x this is equal to 1 mm, so this is equal to uh, t of x equal to 1 so this gives 0 1 and all other elements are 0 now t of x square t of x square means uh, wow, the coefficient of uh, 0 degree polyman minus 1 x coefficient of x is 2 and coefficient of x square is uh, 1 so this is equal to uh, minus 1 2 1 so minus 1 2 1 and all other elements are zero. sorry this should be 1 should be here this should be 0 this one t of x now t of x cube t of x cube gives 2 x cube minus 3 x square uh, this this one the 1 minus 3 3 and 2 we write 1 
वन माइनस थ्री थ्री एंड टू एंड द एलिमेंट्स आर जीरो देन ई ऑफ एक्स टू जीवर फोर दिस वी कैन बी इट कैन बी रिटन एज माइनस वन फोर द कोई भी सेंट ऑफ जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर लाइक पावर्स ऑफ एक्स जीवर टू फोर माइनस सिक्स फोर एंड थ्री दिस वन नाउ हियर इन केस ऑफ एन एथ डिग्री पॉलिमियल वी टेक फोर्थ डिग्री पॉलिमियम फॉर फोर्थ डिग्री पॉलिमियल द ऑर्डर ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स हियर इज फाइव बाई फाइव देर फोर वी कैन से दैट फॉर एन एथ डिग्री पॉलिनोमियल फॉर एन एथ डिग्री पॉलिनोमियल द ऑर्डर ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स वुड बी मैट्रिक्स एन प्लस वन दिस शुड बी द ऑर्डर ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स देर फोर नाउ इफ वी सी द डायगोन एलिमेंट देन दिस इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस वन देन जीरो देन वन देन टू एंड देन थ्री देर फोर फॉर फोर्थ डिग्री पर न्यूमियल इफ द डायगोन एलिमेंट इज थ्री एंड वी ऑल नो दैट ट्रेस ऑफ ए मेट्रिक्स टू ट्रेस ऑफ टी दिस इज इक्वल टू द साम ऑफ द डायगोन एलिमेंट सो माइनस वन प्लस जीरो प्लस वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री This is for five by five. We get three. Then uh, for n degree polynomial, this should be plus four plus and so on. Plus up to for n degree mat uh, polynomial, it should be n plus one. Since here we take for fourth degree polynomial and we get the five members, then the sum uh, is uh, up to n plus one th term. The term n plus one th term. This one. Now, uh, this is clearly an AP. That is the arithmetic progression, and the starting element is minus one. And we all know that the sum of an um, arithmetic progression is equal to two uh, a plus n minus one into d, where uh, a is the first element minus one, and d is the common difference. This is equal to clearly one n by two. Sorry, here. n by 2 into 2a plus 1 into n minus 1 into d. Yeah, the n term. Now here we have n plus 1 at term. Therefore, n is n should be replaced by n plus 1. So the trace is equal to n plus 1 by 2 and 2 into minus 1 is minus 1 plus n should be replaced by n plus 1. N plus 1 minus 1 into d. D means here 1. So this is equal to n plus one by two into minus two plus n. So this is equal to n plus one into n minus two by two. So this is our required answer of this question. N plus one into n minus one by two. Now, what is the next question? Question number. Twenty-three. Question number twenty-three is uh, this question is based on basis and dimension from linear algebra. The question says that that M N R with the real vector space of n by n matrices with entries R from the entries R consider the subset M of M N R consisting of matrices having the property that the entries in every row add up to. Zero and the same holds for every column. These two lines are very important. But a m is equal to given that a equal to a i j one less equal to i uh, comma j less equal to n belongs to m n r such that uh, summation j equal to one to n a i j equal to zero for every i and summation i equal to one to n a i j this is equal to zero for every j. That means uh, find the dimension of m. That means here is it given that We have to find a dimension of a matrix M in which row sum, row sum is equal to zero, and column sum of M and column sum equal to also zero. Now, the concept is here. It is directly a result-based question. Uh, I give the all required result for this type of question and this question. Also, dimension of a vector space 
dimension of a vector space containing containing m by n matrices and here given that the order of the matrix is n by n it is also important m by n matrices whose first row sum is 0 first row sum is 0 this is equal to mn minus 1 this is the number 2 whose uh, each row sum 0 only the line is same only the changes is first row and this is the first row 0 and each row sum 0 for each row sum 0 that means total number of rows in a matrix is m so this should be mn minus number of rows uh, if the each column sum is 0 each column sum is 0 then this should be mn minus number of columns is n this one and for our question is this the number 4 result is if each row sum is 0 and each column sum is equal to 0 then dimension is equal to dimension is equal to m minus 1 into n minus 1 here given our order of the matrix in the question this is n by n therefore m should be replaced by n only here so this is equal to our answer is equal answer this is the result and our answer is n minus 1 into n minus 1 this is equal to n square minus 2n plus 1 n square minus 2n plus 1 this is our correct answer for this student this simply result based question these four results are very important result for to find the basis and dimension to find the dimension of such type of matrix so thank you friends uh, see you again in the next video and if the video if the content is helpful then please give a like to this video share with your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you